Okay, I am uh, back playing Shadow the Avatar. I'm uh, here to do my final two tour, tour guides on the uh, R15 Grand Tour. So I finished off last time in the West Perennial Trail, where the guy, uh, the tour guide was quite hard to find. We got him in the end. So now I'm heading back towards Arderis because the uh, oh, how to defend myself? Ah, it's a bear. crafting experience. Uh, harvest unsuccessfully. Let's try again. Successfully again. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, someone could probably work out. If I only have a twenty five percent chance of success, what are the odds of being unsuccessful six consecutive times? Cool. Do I get points for that? Ten crafting experience. Does my crafting experience show? No. Oh well. Let's carry on. I'm going to ignore the other bear. It's probably not worth the time. Missed me. So, uh, random directions again. Or maybe it isn't random, maybe it's always facing north or something. It's still annoying. Right, so, Ardris, let me just review what we're doing today. We are going to the Dantis Shardfall, which is an open PvP area. Which uh, could be quite risky. Well, it is quite risky. Got a bunch of players there, especially if they're they're high level. I mean, I'm reasonably reason a reasonable level, 25, I think. I suspect if you're uh, you like to spend your day killing other players, you'll be much higher level than that even. Ardris, as we uh, saw a couple of videos back, it's a very, very large and slow map. I did time it and it took two minutes to get in on a previous video I did. So I basically snipped it out. I have kept talking now, but it might be worth snipping this out. So yes, after after the uh, P the Shardfall area, 
we'll head back onto the uh, back to the Vale and uh, up to Owl's Head. The traditional starting point for many previous Grem tours because everything was accessible through the rift, but this time only one thing is so. Apart from the long journey time, that should be the one that's least hassle to get. <coughs> oh, it's not too bad getting in at this time. It's uh, well, that's 11, 1107 GMT. Which is, I guess... Oh dear. Go on. Keep moving. 11 or 7 GMT, which I guess is uh, just after 6 o'clock in the morning on the east coast of America. And uh, even earlier for a lot of the rest of the, the states. Which, yes, of course, I did this on purpose because. There's a pretty good chance the PvP area will be pretty quiet at this time in the morning. Let's go and visit the Oracle while we're here. I don't know why we ended up with steps you can't walk up, but you have. on my protection. Alright, so that's the PvP. Let us look at the path of truth. Shown any affinity to the path of truth. I'm not really sure how I would have shown affinity to the path of truth. Not been that many opportunities to lie to people. Oh, I like that cloak. So laggy this area. I think they'll have to sort it out a bit now that it's, uh, it's a more significant uh, part of the game since the Overland map is in place. It could definitely do with some performance improvements. Ooh, come on. And the real danger here, because of, because of all the canals and everything, Is that while it's in the middle of lagging, you can you could fall off. <coughs> right. Now I think the docks are around here. I mean, for and off is one approach of getting to the docks. You just leap in the water and swim around until you see them. I have done that in the past. See the ships over there. 
by the top of that building. Right. Is that a houseboat of some kind? Let's go down those steps. Oh, nearly. Passage to Kingsport, so that's the boat back. That's the boat back. It's not the one we want right now. There we go, Vedantis Shardfall. Right, so before we go. Let me just check. My arm is in good nick. See, 75, 59, 59, 61, 44. So basically, let's repair everything. Repair kit. I don't know, I've managed to pick up a red dress. Repair. Repair. Nick. Let us head to the PvP area. Onward to the PvP zone. so far. Oh, big leap. Now I've no idea where the uh, where the tour guide is. In the, in the last PvP area. He was on the rim of the crater. And there were also various very dangerous uh, plants around. Alright, like those big door things. Flesh flyer. That sounds like it. Nasty. Out of range of it though. There's another one up there, look. Ah. Get out of range of it. Oh. I'm trapped. Right. So I'm in the crater. 
which is a good start. Can we spot a tour guide? Is that some sort of dangerous plant as well? I'm guessing it probably is. Expect that water, it looks kind of poisonous, doesn't it? Let's see what happens when I go in it. I'm still alive. I get my non combat things up. Oh, something's attacking me. Something's attacking me. I don't know what it is though. Another one of them nasty plants at the top. I wonder if I can kill him. We'll see if we can find the tour guide first. I am proceeding cautiously, as you notice. Oh, they have some range on them, don't they? So I've not spotted... Ooh, what's that? That's another plant. There's a good chance it'll be hiding behind something. That's always. Should have upgraded my uh, healing magic. Oh, 
the sun's going down. We should be entertaining it. Sorry, it's dark. I can't turn off. I can't turn off my combat bar. I can't edit the combat bar while in combat. So how do I get out of combat? <sighs> Let's equip a torch then. again let's attack it no I'm not gonna survive that am I Never in a million years. I have to run into another one at this rate. Oh, I'm dead. Right, so an opportunity to scout around a bit. Or would be if I didn't seem to be trapped in a There's the tour guide. I wasn't that far away from him then. Let's see if we can spot some... Uh, spot some landmarks. So there's the crater. Some trees. Okay, so at this point I'm going to stand here and wait till I recover, so I'll cut this bit out of the video. So I'm in the Vedantis Shardfall, there are a bunch of players around, I've been here running around for about an hour. I've died twice. Important hint number one, spitty plants are very bad for you. Now important hint number two is as you come out of the entrance, don't head to the right. Because that's what I've been doing. I've been running around to the right all this time. The tour guide is actually just over here to the left. See there's a bunch of players standing around him. I don't know whether they're also having combat. But here is the tour guide. My progress. I still need to do Black Bay Pass, which is back at Al's head. So I should point out 
they're alive. I spent an hour trying to find him. And it was really less than less than thirty seconds walk. People still talking to me, aren't they? There we go. Less than a minute's walk from the entrance. A lot of them people were standing around him when I was here before, when I first found him. Well, actually the second time, because the first time I found him, I was dead. Which meant I'd run all the way around the map and got back to the start. Alright, I'm back in Ardress. I've taken to a... Uh, I've snipped that... Uh, ugh. I've snipped the loading, the loading page out for my site because you don't need to watch another minute of that happening. Now we need to head back to uh, Kingsport, which is this one. Yes. Kingsport should be a bit quicker. A bit quicker than uh, Arduris. So I'll carry on talking. These things do say it's 0% for a while, I've noticed. It says 0 and then it leaps to 50 something. So I think it's like loading the largest block of data first, perhaps. There you go, 54, 55. Nothing to 50 in however many seconds that took. 10. So, for the last step, out on the road and up to Owl's Head, which has been sort of the focal point of previous quests, because all of this stuff um, around Arderis was only accessible through portals and ships up until now. And now they've put all this the Overland map in. You actually have to walk around it. But it does make the whole world feel a bit bigger, doesn't it? Right, where am I? Okay, oh, on the docks. Let us go. some point in the next week I'll have to do some sort of side-by-side -side video of the uh, Unity 5 versus Unity 4 rendering. I've got enough footage of the Unity 4 stuff lying around. Possibly even plenty without me talking all over it, so... Probably be a decent comparison. Inbound shouldn't take too long to load, there you go. Owl's head will be the slow one. Where's my man? It's strange how you come out onto the world map and you're always standing on a building or something, or on the top of a tree. Which is handy in some situations. Because it lets you leap over, leap over bits of the map that you couldn't actually walk through. But I think what also leads to you getting trapped in places. Oh, for our way, where do I want out of? There it is. Enter Owl's Head. Now this can often be a slow one. Um, on the other hand, because it's been such a, a focal area, 
there's possibly been some optimization work done in it that hasn't happened yet in Arduris. But I think Al's head is to the rail as Arduris is to um, uh, whatever the new area was called, I can't remember now. You know what I mean though. You can always rewind the videos and look. I suppose with everything going on around Arduris, the, the house head should be less busy as well. You never know. I mean, if there is, there's a lot more space for people to expand out into now as well with that, all those new areas. So. It won't improve performance, but it will even it out a bit. Right, what do we want? Black Bay Plus, I think. That was it. Ah. Huh. I'm sure when I clicked on it, it said Black Bay Pass. Let's see what this does. Okay, uh, here's me thinking this was the easy one, and turns out it's not, it's a complete pain in the backside. But I've been online, I've googled the answer, and uh, the mad hermit is the man. I'm going to ignore the Elder Wolves. The Elder Wolves are worth a thousand experience. Which is nice. So, the Mad Hermit's advice is go right to the bottom and turn left. Then defeat the bears. Ow. Resisting a stunt. Okay. Grizzly, oh, 900 for a large grizzly bear. Nice. So, hang a left. Let's just restore some health. Hang a left and defeat the bears. Bear patriarch. Nasty. Just about got the better of him. Don't want to take on more than one at the same time, though. Eh? Oh. Oh, 
which is even worse. Eleven hundred. Where am I at? Oh, I'm less than a thousand away. So next battle, if I succeed, I'll kill him up. I'll level up rather. I'll kill him up. Trying to listen to the garlic, it never works. Right, so there's an entrance to the right of the bear layer. Ooh. And there it is. And now we're in Black Bay Pass. That explains why it's confusing. You go to Black Blade Pass from the portal and it calls it southeast of Black Blade Pass and you have to find this secret entrance. Now what's the next step we ask ourselves? We're in a cave. Oh, and in the cave is the tour guide. Somewhere. You've completed the Grand Tour. So let's just, just uh, inventory up. Where is it? There we go. Hey. Looking awesome. Quick screenshot. Woohoo! Let's go and stand next to the tour guide. Hey, there's a big pulsating blob in the background. nasty slime yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with the slime I think it was this way that's the way out woohoo all right well that'll be the end of the video I've done about three hours of footage to cut together what will be about half an hour of actually finding tour guides. Uh, I enjoyed it and uh, I'll probably upload some other videos in the next week to compare with the uh, Unity 4 vs Unity 5. Ah. <laughs>